What's going on YouTube? It's me, First True Review, back in here for another video. Um, today we got something that I'm sure everyone's had. It is a staple in the franchise chicken community, and no, it is not Jollibee. Although while I was driving home, I really did want Jollibee. I got us some Popeyes right here. And before we get into it, just like, comment, share, subscribe, anything helps, leave any topics you want me to talk about, and leave any foods, on your, foods you want me to review, because I'm down to try any type of food, food in the GTA. I'll go there, bring it, make a video about it, and as always, timestamps down below. Okay, so, we got Popeyes. And in here, this is just my classic uh, meal here that I get. I just get chicken tenders. Um, chicken tenders and like a small fry. I don't really eat too much Popeyes or I don't really eat too much from Popeyes just because Popeyes sometimes make my stomach hurt. So this is typically my order unless there's ghost pepper wings and I'll get like five uh, chicken tenders and ghost pepper wings. I'm not the biggest Popeyes guy so I, I do struggle to eat all Popeyes food just because after a while, like I said, it makes my stomach hurt. But I did get us some sauce so we're not gonna raw dog it here. Boom, we got us um, blackened ranch sauce. So before I used to get sweet heat or sweet chili, whatever it used to be called. And then my friend's like, nah, you gotta get blackened ranch. And I was like, okay, let me try it. Got it, never went back. Let's take a look here. Get in the sauce. Not too bad. That is not crunchy in the slightest. I'm sure you guys didn't even hear it. Not a bite. Hmm. Not too bad though. Not too bad at all. So unfortunately Popeyes is my favorite chicken place in terms of uh, chicken tenders. But I think that's just because I haven't had much chicken tenders in my life sorry had to cut there because after i took that last bite of chicken i was kind of looking at the chicken tenders and i was like you know let me break it apart a bit take a look at it and i noticed it was like purple and i don't know if it's supposed to be purple i was scared that it was undercooked so i just threw away the rest of that piece so hopefully the next pieces aren't like that oh this broke off let's try this this might be crunchy look at that It's funny because growing up, I used to have Popeyes all the time. All the time, I loved it. I would even get their chicken. But then when I went to university, I went to York University for like a few years. And I went to Frost Week. And during Frost Week, all they had there was Popeyes. So I had Popeyes seven days in a, in a, in a row. And I was like, you know what? I hate this. I'm never having this ever again after those seven days. I was just popeyes out. And you know what? I was actually pretty true to my word because for the most part, I didn't have Popeyes for a long time. I think that happened in 2013. And I didn't have Popeyes until 2020. So I went seven years without Popeyes. I was like, you know what? I kind of miss Popeyes. I keep seeing people eating it. I'm like, you know what? I want to try this. Again, so I went out and got Popeyes again. So for me, I'm a person who really likes like rules or self-imposed rules or streaks. I do not like to break streaks at all. So for example, the last time I had McDonald's was in 2007, the last time I had it. And I just went on so long without it. I was like, you know what? Let me make a streak now. After the first few years, I'm like, let me make a streak now, see how long I can go. And now we're going out to like 15 years of me not eating it. And then with other things, say for like going to the gym, I very consistently go to the gym. So since I started going to the gym in 2012, I had a, a schedule that I'd go every other day. I've been doing that for 10 years straight. And you might be thinking, first shoe. 
how'd you go during COVID? I went out to the park. So during COVID, like before COVID got really crazy and everything shut down, even the parks, I'd go out to the park. And this would be in like negative 40 degrees with the wind chill and stuff like that or whatever the temperature was at that time. I used to put on two track pants, two pairs of socks, a t-shirt, sweater, my jacket, hat, gloves, and a mask. Obviously, because it's COVID. And then eventually that shut down. So I was like, okay, well, now I can't do this anymore. So I'd have to actually do my work outside the, at home. But even then, every other day. But let me tell you something. Those days of when I went to the park to work out, I actually kind of miss them. I miss them for a few reasons. One, outside was super cold and I hate the cold, but it still looked pretty nice. I'd go, I'd be the only one there. Um, I'd be cold, yeah, but it was kind of just like a vibe, just being there by yourself and working out when you know no one else works out is working out there and no one else is able to come work out just because they have like their own things or maybe like they're not disciplined enough. It just felt like you're getting something done when most people wouldn't get it done, right? How much did these guys give me? I don't know. But, uh, ooh, juicy. It was a good time. It was a good time. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I miss it. Just because. It was calm. If you ever need to go somewhere, roads were clear. Gas was super cheap. It was just a good time. Everyone was home. You could stay at home, play games, learn a new skill, whatever it may be. And I feel like that was a, a time a lot of people took for granted. I feel like I even took it for granted to some extent too. Just because like, I definitely could have been doing more than what I was actually doing at that time. I made a lot of poor decisions during uh, COVID. So. But then years passed and now. It kind of feels like COVID was a fever dream to be quite honest with you. Absolutely insane. Alright. Also. Wildly unrelated. Yesterday was a freaking crazy day because over here in Brampton, we have quite a big list. I think we have like five or six good lives, right? And like I said, I go to the gym every other day and yesterday was one of the days I had to go to the gym. And why did we get an email saying that all the gyms are closed? For security risk. Originally, I thought it was a bomb threat, but apparently someone called in threatening to shoot up a good life, and I assume they didn't specify which one it was. They just specified it being Brampton, so they just decided to take their own hands and, call, and close all good lives. Absolutely insane. Who threatens a good life? Out of all places to threaten a good life? A gym? I got two theories. It was either someone who was just like angry at Good Life because maybe they got kicked out or something or they weren't let in, or it was some kids playing a prank. Either way, pretty dumb reason. I don't know if I'm gonna finish all this. I'm not a big, I'm not a, a big eater. Well, this video should be coming out a few days before New Year's, so. Let's talk about some of the goals that we have for New Year's. Whatever your goals are, leave them down below for New Year's because I'd love to know your guys' goals. Maybe I can leech off you guys and ha add some of them onto myself. But for me, I have a few goals. One, I want to pay off all my debt. If not all my debt, like most of it. So I have tens of thousands of dollars worth of debt. I really want to crack down and pay that off by the end of the year, right? And it's definitely an amount that is doable 
it's just an amount that is doable relative to my income. I'd have to just like cut down a lot of costs and then it'd be doable, which is fine because budgeting is good because budgeting is good always. Budgeting and financial literacy are a skill. I think everyone should learn. So I really need to get doing that. And I want to buy a place. Like I want to buy a property. So my friend and I are trying to buy uh, or looking to buy a property next year. But things are so expensive. So expensive. Like unbelievably expensive. We were looking at it. And it was like, if we mix both of our incomes together, we would have to literally, we would only be able to afford a place that's like just over $500,000. And $500,000 isn't that much for a house nowadays. Now we have to get a third or fourth person to potentially buy in on the like down payment and like be co-signer for us to be able to afford a, a nice place that we're gonna live in. But we also wanna rent it out, right? So. Our plan would be to get it, live upstairs, and rent out the basement. Obviously, a fully furnished basement and everything. So we're kind of relying on the housing market to crash next year. So if we could time it and get in perfect, right? And get a place and we can live in it and rent it out. And my last goal, just to be happy, just to be happier, you know, I mean, it's not an easy thing to come by and just have like a really good year, right? Because 2022 was a, was a pretty good year. I mean, in terms of, uh, some of the goals I wanted, because I wanted to start this channel, I wanted to get some certificates or start some certificates, you know, I wanted to do a lot of things in the summer and i got to do a lot of those things i find right but i'm still not at where i want to be so i just hope that next year or i'm going to try my best to make next year the year where i push myself to be where i want to be so that way i'm like instead of being this much closer i'm this much closer to being towards my goal and being happy with myself and who i want to be because you guys should watch my last video the men's mental health video that's a very uh that was a very deep video for me it, it's one of the videos that didn't do too well but that's fine because it's a video that i want to talk about right that's something that's important to me and that kind of stuff like mental health and all that stuff affects me deeply as well so i just want next year my main goal for next year above all that stuff is just to be happy and to be in a good like mental space and to be able to be there for those who also need people there for them i think that's a really good uh that's a really good goal to have at least for myself everyone has their own goals um, some people want to start going to the gym, some people want to start dieting, some people want to, you know, hit a rank in a game or whatever, and any goal you have is good. So leave a comment down below what your goals are for next year, because I would love to know your goals. I'd love to know everyone's goals. I'd love to start a discussion and just like talk with you guys, you know, but uh, I'm not finishing this because I got this just to get this. I, <laughs> I really don't like it. I'll probably give it like a five because... I just, I just, I just didn't finish it. It's not even like it's a lot of food. It's five tenders and fries and I, I can't even finish it. I'll probably give this like a five out of 10 because it's Popeyes. I'm not really too into Popeyes. It's just something to eat to be quite honest with you. But anyways, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, click one of the suggested videos on the side here. Um, anything helps, leave a comment down below of your uh, goals, what you're excited for, you know, any topics you want me to talk about, food place you want me to try. I'm down to do it all and follow me on Instagram. Yeah, peace.